tonight we celebrate the second annual Greater Los Angeles Engineer of the Year Award Gala. This serves as a culmination of celebrating and recognizing after a year of fostering meaningful collaborations between industries and the College of ECST at Cal State LA. Events like this are uh, an example of how investing in an institution of this nature can help to restore this nation's luster and enable it to be at the top of its game again. This is a matter of our national defense. We simply cannot outsource our science and engineering effort to, in the defense of the country and in the business that I'm in, building and uh, maintaining uh, ships and, and weapon systems to keep America free. Uh, I mean, I think of myself where I was here 30 years ago and watching events like this and how the friends work with everybody is an inspiration and, and some of them help you, motivate you to go ahead and do something else with your career. We simply cannot survive and we cannot keep America's Navy number one in the world unless we reach out and reach a, and, and attract a, a different makeup into our workforce. And that's why we see so much promise with our relationship with this fine university and with this community. And I'm so proud of the outreach, the scholarships, the funding of student programs, the hiring, and the relationship that we're building with this school and with this community. Well, I'd like to thank the group very much for this award. Uh, if James were here, he would definitely be talking about the untapped potential of the young people in our, our community. Uh, if you give young people a vision, if you give them a great place to study, and if you give them the encouragement and support they need to stay in school, there's absolutely no telling where they end up. They may end up as James did, running the largest aerospace company in the world. For all the young folks, engineering is cool, engineering is fun. Uh, by the way, it doesn't hurt that it pays the bills, okay? <laughs> and over the next five to ten years, my organization, we will hire about 3,000 people a year. More than half of those will be science and engineering and math professionals. And this is a war on talent out there. And when our primary demographic that we have traditionally drawn from, white males, today that demographic is less than one-third of the people entering the workforce. I want to dedicate this mostly to the students here at Cal State LA because they're the ones that keep me young, and keep me going, and keep me motivated. So to all of you students, congratulations and thanks for a good job. Institutions are very important to us. I met with Keith about a year ago and he talked about UPS being more uh, engaged in this school of engineering. Uh, and I completely agreed with that. Uh, and it's uh, a great relationship for us. Uh, we intend to build upon it. Uh, but UPS as, a, as an organization is committed to a couple of things. And education uh, is one of them. Uh, moving the needle on technology development is another. So anything we can do to marshal support, to marshal uh, encouragement, enthusiasm around the issue, to heighten understanding, to, to help build bridges, create collaborative relationships, I think that's, that's what's going to be necessary. We've had an opportunity to partner with uh, Cal State LA on a number of programs and it's been great to interact with the students and uh, see kind of how motivated they are in their drive that they have to do well. So it's been a really mutually rewarding experience. And I had a dream to graduate with an engineering degree, so I'm a civil engineer from this university and I had a dream to become a successful businessman, which I have become uh, with the support of a lot of other people. And I'm grateful to this country, to this university for the opportunity that is given to me to live the American dream. We're all well aware of the distressing decline in students studying the STEM fields in the United States in recent years. We've seen some positive actions aimed at ensuring we have a globally competitive workforce. The Aerospace Corporation, the companies and organizations represented by my fellow honorees, Cal State LA and institutions and industry organizations across the country are committed to the development of the engineering workforce. To the students in the room, I too was a product of the Cal State system, the university system, and, uh, and I'm expecting much bigger things out of you than me. Great engineers have to possess an innate sense of curiosity and a desire to make the world a better place. They looked at what's around them, they see how it works, and they figure out how they can make it even better.